forest fires or grass fires or bush fires uh, can occur in a number of places throughout the world and if they get large enough and energetic enough they create a thermal bubble that can create a convective storm. The convective storm in its most extreme form can be a cumulonimbus storm that includes lightning, precipitation, and the familiar look of a cauliflower cloud structure with an anvil, or in the case of a, a volcanic cumulonimbus storm, what they call an umbrella cloud. Pyrocumulonimbus storms have injected smoke and other pollutants from biomass burning into the lowermost stratosphere when in the past often these very same particles were deemed to be caused by volcanic eruptions. And this was a recurring theme over a number of years and a number of journal articles. One of the surprising things that we found is that these storms occur very regularly. Fires are very much a part of the landscape and extreme fires to the extent of pyro CB are also pretty frequent as well. The smoke poles that are created in the stratosphere from pyro cumulonimbus storms are important climatologically because they may absorb enough radiation from the sun to warm the atmosphere and cause changes in the weather. They also might cool the air that we uh, breathe significantly or at least enough that we need to understand the effect of the smoke pall that could be uh, large over a whole hemisphere. It's important also to study the storms themselves because they are very energetic storms that can wreak havoc on the local population.